because competition nowadays is is on the boom right so what do you need to do you need to practice a lot more questions on that right when you will revise it now you will revise it very quickly so it won't be a very big much big problem for you Hi everyone, my name is Yogesh, and today in this video, we are going to discuss how to manage DSA and web development together. But uh, before directly jumping to this video, we we'll first have to understand: Aren't we doing anything wrong? Like we are talking about managing two things. Is this question a valid? Why am I saying that? Because if you are a beginner, consider if you don't know any of those skills, you don't know development, and you don't know DSA either. So should you begin, or should you try to do it together? No, I don't think so. Why? Because at that thing, like if you try to do DSA and web development together as a beginner, so I don't think so that you would be able to excel in any of these. Why? Because consider if I say to someone, hey, you should learn boxing and you should learn karate together. So uh, will he be able to do master? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm talking. There could be exception, or there could be some people who would disagree to me. That's totally okay. But I'm talking about generally uh, like normal human. So normal human being nature being that you should always try to excel in one of the skill. Like you should either focus on karate. First of all, get mastery in that. Not exactly mastery, but at least have a good uh, command over karate, and then you can move to if you want to learn boxing, right? So because if you would be learning these two together, so what you would be doing that you should be consider you should paying two hours or you should practice two hours boxing, and you are just cutting one hour from there, and you should practice three hours karate. You are cut, uh, cutting two hours from there or dedicating more hour to one of the skills. So you won't be able to balance those skills. I I don't know. Like uh, either you would be a good boxer or you would be a good karate champion. I doubt on that. so i hope you were able to get that that why am i am saying this thing so i would suggest you that if you are a beginner or if you are a new to these things web development and dsa so do not try that you will try to learn these things together so first of all do make sure that you do not try because dsa that is data structures and algorithms helps you in developing problem solving skills and that is really important part where you should not mess up anyhow because why because it's the crux of any company either you are looking for a job in any product based company any startup or I, anything it's uh, similar to the problem solving skill so whenever i see a new problem how do i approach it uh, what's the uh, data structure that i choose what is the time complexity what is the space complexity and if i do think that consider if i am a web developer or i am a software developer at some company so the idea or the solution that i am providing to a solution it should also be cost effective right so these are really necessary areas and these are the skills that problem solving skills can only be developed with the solving problems for example if i relate this problem Because when you were in class twelve, you were doing mathematics, so you were solving problem from calculus. You were solving problem from coordinates. So what your teacher used to tell you, what they used to tell you, they used to tell you if you want to get a good uh, command over coordinate or calculus or any other part of probability. So what you need to do, you need to practice a lot more questions on that, right? First of all, you'll have to go through the basics of the concept, and then you will be practicing. It it won't be like that. You are directly solving the questions of a of a hard level. You first of all start with easy, then medium, and then hard, right? So that's what I'm saying. This video is not all like the thing that I'm saying over here is not only specific to managing DSA or web development, but any other skill that you are learning. Either you are learning Android, either you are learning data science or machine learning, any other skill that you are learning. So first of all, when you are learning, so as a beginner, if you are learning DSA, so do not learn any other skill with that. First of all, do make sure that you do proper time to this because problem solving. Uh, skills uh, doesn't come easily you'll have to be very consistent you'll have to give a lot of effort by that uh, and you'll have to do revision like timely revision if you are it shouldn't be like that uh, consider in our data structure uh, that i'm learning some new thing or new algorithms but uh, by the week off and by the weekend or after one month i'm forgetting those things so revising those concept is also necessary and uh, then uh, i should also try to give competition or the coding contest which are going because competition nowadays is <laughs> is on the boom right you can expect that for example if you are appearing for any company or if you are preparing any or for any placement preparation so you must have got the idea because nowadays like you you can connect with your friends over linkedin or ask uh, the people who are already working in the product based companies or the, in, in this software csit companies for a longer time that how much competition has increased so this is the one thing why i am emphasizing on this dsa part because you shouldn't compromise on this part you should dedicate proper time at least i would say if someone is beginner so first of all for dsa part one should be familiar with any programming language it could be either c c++ 
this plus java or python it doesn't matter uh, matter why because these languages are just a part to the problem solving skills because these are just tools for example if someone says hey find the duplicate element in an array or do this so what i would be doing the syntax is going to be changed the, the way that i'm writing the code that is going to be changed right but the logic generally the logic is going to be remain same so that's why you shouldn't focus or care much about your programming language but instead focus on the problem solving skills or i should say the logic part that how you are approaching a problem or how you are solving that part okay so you, if you are moving with so you make sure that you are done with array recursion string linked list tree graph dynamic programming hashing at least i i am not asking you that you should have a very well but at least you should give a time and if i because that's the another question uh, that often students ask me that hey what time should be sufficient to become pro in dsa or how much time they should dedicate to solve a problem so i would say that hey no one could first of all become pro i mean pro is something like a very it depends on the person to person so that's not a general question i could say that okay that this much time you can dedicate but at least for a beginner perspective view i would say at least 6 uh, to 9 months he should give that because he would be learning the programming language and as well as he would be doing in dsa so uh, if i say about the amount of the question or the number of question if you are done with 350 or 400 questions in data structures and algorithms along with one programming language have good command over it i think that uh, you you you'll be good to go so i i'm not saying that you will be very well but at least you because now your basics are really clear and other than that now you are you are done with the dsa part now you can move to the development part because why because uh, for example consider uh, you must be thinking hey can't i just begin development part or web development or any other skill without the data structures and algorithms of course you can begin uh, that's, that's totally your choice but what i'm saying you because now you have you do have functionality now you your basics are really clear with the with dsa part like for example if you are learning web development so in their javascript there comes a really lot of part where you actually need to do how the backend part is coming how the stack is over coming if you see about the backend part of uh, uh, javascript like there is a uh, stack call there is a execution context how does it works how the memory in heap is allocated so how does it work how how will you get to know about it what is array if if you don't know if you haven't studied right and uh, uh, sometimes you see that uh, for the web development side when you visit any website so you see that uh, whole of the website is not loading when you scroll down so that time it starts loading so that is called lazy loading so that also a really important part which, which you, i don't believe that you would be able to solve with zero knowledge of the dsa so i don't think because dsa helps you in your uh, clearing basic and you are making fundamentals really good and other than that then you can begin with the web development but now the question was how to uh, manage the dsa part and the web development together so i assume if you are asking this question so i do assume that you have already done or spent a couple of or, or an ample amount of time that was required to uh, have good command over data structures and algorithms and web development as well so now your question is that how can you manage these things so i would suggest you first of all try to make a timetable making timetable is really necessary which i think that uh, most of the uh, student or like uh, many of the people who are who ask these questions they are not able to manage the time so try to manage the time for example uh, if i will begin because i am also doing dsa and web development part so i would uh, share you my experience and then we can uh, have a talk about this uh, so how do i begin with so i am actually done with the basics of the data structures and algorithms i have practiced around 500 questions 400 500 questions till the day so um, and uh, now what i do how does my day look like when i'm talking about this development part and the uh, dsa part so what i do first of all i do daily give lead code challenges daily lead code challenges i do give and during the weekend uh, and uh, after that time in the evening uh, like uh, uh, i practice at least two problems right like from a random topic or the topic that i consider i am practicing on uh, recursion or dynamic programming or tree part so i try to practice these like two problems daily and one problem in the morning for lead code daily challenge because i do have good command over web development as well so i don't think that uh, i need to do explicitly time to that the other part is like if you want to give the time so first of all how am i giving uh, during the weekend i give 4 hours on saturday 4 hours on sunday so i'm giving 8 hours to the web development part only uh and during my weekend and what do i do in that because i do have good command over mun stack that is mongodb express js react and node js so i do have good commands over that and have uh, good projects as well over there so but now to make my portfolio well and to uh, to sustain in this field because you should never stop learning this csc field if you want to survive the key is that you should never stop learning 
so for that part i try to contribute to some open source projects related to the web development part or i do uh, participate in hackathons or learning or making some projects for my portfolio so i try to do that so what do i try to do that i do study web development part on saturday and sunday i do make notes on that because managing time is really necessary so do not think that you would be able to doing that i'm not saying that you you can't start like this way uh, if you do have proper amount of time it depends upon you or the job you are targeting for or, or the time that you have consider right now i am already software engineer at infinite technologies so right now i am a full time employee here so i don't have to go here and there and see the things that okay but as a student you do have lot time so you can do make utilize of it but do make sure that you do finish it first of all do data structures and algorithms then move to development part because that's the another part they say hey while we were doing dsa we were good in that we learned it for six months we were good in that and now we are doing a development web development yes we have, we have started it and it's been two months but now i've started feeling like that i've started forgetting all those things that i've learned in data, data success and algorithm i think uh, array uh, tree link list these, these are the parts that i has learned at that time i was really good in that but now as i have started learning web development recently i'm not good in that so that's totally fine that that's totally okay because human nature it's uh, i know that uh, some human nature tends to f- uh, forget the things right so so that's totally okay but what you need to do about this and what you can do about this thing then just try to give that time just try to make sure that when you are learning web development then at that time you can also do parallelly dsa right but i'm not saying that to invest too much amount of time in the dsa because they are in your subconscious mind do not worry when you will revising the things na because you have practiced you have already dedicated 6 months 6 to 9 months on dsa and now you are just practicing those concepts so they they are in your subconscious mind so you don't need to worry when you will revise it now you you will revise it very quickly so it won't be a very big much big problem for you right so you can what you can start you can start hey right now i'm giving web 3 hours to daily to web development so i can start giving one or one and half hour to uh, dsa or solving a problem of my favorite topic or revising those concepts because these are also really necessary okay and if i talk about web development thing so managing the time is really necessary and do make sure that if you are preparing for any placement perspective you or anything so do make sure that uh, you do know about the back end of the javascript like how does javascript work what is the thing what are the top most uh, interview questions that are asked in the javascript and uh, any of the technologies either you are working as a full stack developer where you are working on the front end part and the back end part too so do make sure that you do it so that's how i think you would be able to balance the part between the data structures and algorithms and the web development part and other than that you need to make sure that okay you are updated with the technology because there are latest versions coming or rolling out of the react js or node js so you do make sure that how you are doing it with so that's how i am doing because at the weekend time i spend making projects because that's the thing that really helps me and that's how i manage my dsa and uh, this part and other than that i would say that do make sure first of all do make sure that your clarity be clear with it your job perspective what company you are aiming for what is the target do make a proper time table like this is the thing on paper you should try to write those things okay like this much the time this is the reality don't be in dream that okay this much time we will give though or no no be practical about everything do think about all the consequences so i think uh, i was able to answer your query or answer your question in this video that how can we manage data structure dsa and uh, web development together so this is me signing out Yogesh Kumar thank you thanks a lot